Congratulations on being Pitcher of the Year in the American Association. What does this mean to you? Uh, it means a lot personally. Um, you know, with all the struggles that I went through for two and a half years, I was a phone call away from giving up the game of baseball. Uh, if Rick doesn't call me and offer me this opportunity, I, I don't put the cleats on anymore. I don't tow the rubber anymore. Uh, I figured the next award I'd be winning would be Little League Coach of the Year or something, you know. So uh, it's one of those things that it's uh, it hasn't really sunk in yet. Um, but, you know, I, I keep going back to, to that one conversation I had with uh, our pitching coach, Jamie Vermillier, and, you know, he sat me down. He's like, you know, you have good enough stuff to pitch in this league, but you got to start pitching and not just tow the rubber and think you're going to win every time. You know, you got to start developing some confidence in all your pitches, uh, start pitching the way you know how to pitch. And after that conversation, my season completely took off. Um, you know, it was one of those things People where... People forget now that you got off to a horrible start. Oh, terrible start. I was lucky to not be 0-3 after those first three starts. If it wasn't for our offense, um, I would definitely have been 0-3 after those first three starts. I mean, they put up, I think, eight runs in each of those games, and I still couldn't get a win. I mean, I was just giving up big innings. Um, and if when I wasn't giving up the big innings, I was giving up a run in every single inning. Um, so, you know... It's one of those things that I sat back, I, I reevaluated um, my career and what I was doing here, um, and I was able to to go from there. Um, but you know, all the all the thanks in the world goes to the Winnipeg organization, um, to Rick Forney, our pitching coach uh, Jamie Vermillier, our hitting coach Tom Vaith, who uh, you know, if he didn't have those hitters ready to go every day, I mean, I don't know how many of those games I would have won to be honest with you. I mean, all of our all the guys in the clubhouse, uh, from the pitching staff, the bullpen. You know, they had my back in a lot of those games, uh, getting me out of some big innings. Um, Louis, I mean, he learned me top to bottom, in in and out. I mean, just he knew what pitches I liked to throw in certain counts. Uh, we worked inside, outside, up and down all year long. Um, and, you know, we still have some work to do in the playoffs, and I look forward to that. But, you know, right now it's about remembering the, the great year we all had together, um, not necessarily individually. And I expect some other guys in that clubhouse to definitely be winning some awards as well. What do you expect from the playoffs? Uh, I expect what everybody else does, uh, a championship. Uh, another, another banner up on that, that press box back there. You know, this team to, to go down history is one of the best ever to play here in Winnipeg. Um, I know we had a wonderful regular season, but, you know, a lot of people, regular season just isn't, isn't enough. Uh, you know, we've been to the playoffs here. I think Rick's been now seven times or nine times, something like that. I can't really remember the number. But, you know, it's all about what, 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 what you bring home. Uh, can you bring home the ring? Can you bring home the trophy? To this organization, so they could put it up in their in their trophy case, and we go home with memories and a ring on our finger, and we get to talk about it till we're 80 years old. Um, the special team we had, the bond that we've built with these guys together, and you know, every single guy in that clubhouse wants one thing, and it's the championship. For next year, um, if you don't get the call to go to spring training with somebody, would you consider coming back here? I'll be back here, 100%. Uh, you know, I've I've told my wife I I just want to play baseball. Um, it's what I was born to do. I told her if I wasn't married to her, I'd just be married to the game. Uh, you know, this is this is a home away from home for me. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of people say, "Why do you get to the field so early?" I mean, this is it's not a field; it's, it's my home. I've been doing this since I was three years old, uh, and I, I don't think, barring injuries or anything like that, I feel I could play this game till I don't know how long until they tell me I got to go. Um, I know it's a kid's game; still makes me feel young. Uh, I know there's going to be some kids next year fighting for jobs. And I'll be ready to go. Uh, in the off season, you're going to finish the degree. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, you know, school starts. I think uh, university's already started, so I can't really get into any classes right now. But every year, I say I'm going to finish my degree. I'm going to finish my degree. And you know, if baseball wasn't an option, I definitely would have finished my degree already and gotten a job. Uh, I was already contemplating that a couple months ago when I got released from spring training. But uh, you know, as of right now, I'm not signed up for any classes. Um, you know, next year. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to be in the same situation, staying here till you know mid-September, hopefully chasing another championship. And uh, you know, as long as as long as I'm playing baseball and chasing championships, the, the degree can wait. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you very much.